what we've done here is, is quite a historical operation uh, to support really the, the tragic situation we're in with the missing MH370, where an airliner went missing with limited clues as to where it was. It was suspected to be in the Southern Indian Ocean, and as part of that, Australia uh, was helping Malaysia, was asked by Malaysia to assist, and we uh, then headed up an air task group for, uh, to search for the missing airliner in the Indian Ocean. We've had a number of, of nations here together, all working together as a single team in a very complex and difficult operation, 1,000 to 1,500 miles out over the ocean with no diversions to go to, getting together as a team in one good cause, which is to locate the missing airliner. Roger 2000, slowly opening. Steer 319. Steer 319. What comes next is realistically a, uh, a change in phase. So we will conclude a phase which is looking for debris on the surface, specifically with aircraft, and then we move into a phase which is more an underwater search. Well, we've spent over 53 days now searching uh, for surface debris using ships and aircraft, as, uh, as, you, as you know. Uh, we've now reached the point where uh, the assessment is that there's no more debris floating in the search areas that we're involved in. Um, so we're moving now to a primarily underwater search. We have had the uh, Bluefin 21 under autonomous underwater vehicle uh, deployed for, uh, for a number of weeks now. Uh, but we'll be expanding the underwater search uh, and using primarily sonar now to look for debris on the ocean floor rather than floating debris on the ocean surface. This is a transition. The Prime Minister of Australia has, uh, has mentioned a, a number of times that we're, uh, we're fully committed, Australia is fully committed to working with the partner nations involved in this search to, uh, to uh, continue as best we can, as long as reasonably possible, to, uh, to try and find some sense of closure for those uh, 239 people that are missing. So it's really a transition from a, a primarily a surface debris search to an underwater search, but uh, it's by no means uh, the end of the search. Uh, it will continue, and, and uh, if need be, for many months to come. What all nations should take from this that have participated is really that all nations get together in a single good cause and, uh, and achieve tremendous outcomes. Okay? Despite the fact we have not located any debris, uh, we have done absolutely the best we can. And I know in my own heart, and I know that in everyone who flew uh, or was part of this operation's heart, that uh, we have done the best we can for the people that are on that aircraft.